sperms and eggs carry the paternal and maternal legacy to the next generation. In the laboratory of Dr. Amanda Clark in UCLA, we can generate the progenitors of sperms and eggs from embryonic stem cells in a dish. These we call primordial germ cells. Um, we are hoping to generate functional human sperms and eggs so as to contribute to humans suffering from infertility. My research is trying to reveal the epigenetic regulation upon primordial germ cell specification, specifically DNA methylation that controls biological processes without changing DNA sequence. I found a key switch gene that controls DNA methylation, and once impaired, the human embryonic stem cells lose the potential to become primordial germ cells. This finding in human is very much different to what we saw in mouse. That means the human germline has evolved its own pivot, and the epigenetic regulation carries information of how a human germline to become specified. <laughs>